On today's show, we've got a brand new game for you, and it's called Tagline Takedown. Okay, so like most of our games, <laughs> they're stolen. It is. It's just genuine. It's not even funny at this point. It's genuine. It's theft. just theft. Uh, and I hope the Jeff Kinnott, Alex Albrecht, and Dan Trachtenberg are either a more than happy to let us steal them, or b far too busy to realise we're stealing yeah. them. Here's the game. Yeah. I am going to read you a tagline from a superhero movie, like the official tagline. That's what it was on the posters. That's what it was in the advertising. That's and you have to tell me what film that's from. Yeah. Scoring is, I get a point if I get one right. I get a point... If I get one wrong. If you get one wrong. Okay. Okay? Sure. Lots of points Steven's up Steven's looking confused, but he's the one who's got to do the point system, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's uh, hear the do you want to go first? Or I'll go first, okay? You go first. All right. So the first tagline is... First tagline is, hell of a way to end a partnership. Hell of a way to end a partnership. Okay, so... I'm very excited about this one. Okay, so immediately I'm thinking teams. I'm thinking team books, uh, team films even. Hell. Hell would immediately make me suggest Hellboy. Um, so I'm thinking Hellboy 2, but I don't think any partnerships ended in that. Uh, I only get one guess, don't I? Yeah, you only get one guess. I only get the one guess. Okay, so that's, that's kind of my first instinct. Um... And we are strictly talking, just not like the Sky movies, Men in Black as a superhero film. We're talking has to have been adapted. No, no, right. You have not only have you seen this film, but you like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like Hellboy, but you don't know that. Um, oh God, oh, that makes life really difficult. I can give you a clue. I'll give you the. I'll give you the year it came out. Give me the year. Two thousand and five. Two. Possibly two thousand and four. One or the other. Okay, well, that, that, I suppose that narrows it down. Okay, I like it. Do you like it? Yes. Shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how that would have narrowed it down, but... Oh, God, so it's a film you like. A film, a hell of a way to end a partnership. So it's a... It, it's, it's a team of some sort. I've got to push you for an answer. I know. Uh uh, right, 2004, 2004. I can't even think of any films that came out then. Uh, ah, ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, sorry, swearing. Student swear. Uh, oh, I don't know. No, no, no. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Uh, uh, Sin City. Sin City? Yeah, it was Sin City. Where did that come from? I have no idea. Like, I literally... And do you know what the weirdest bit was? Right, we're in Gosh Comics at the moment. You didn't and just I look at Sin City. Will Eisner's, uh, Will Eisner's name. And the first thing I associate that with is The Spirit, which copies a lot of the star from Sin City. And I went, The Spirit? No, why would it have been The Spirit? <gasps> it's Sin City. Sin City, because it's uh, Bruce Willis and the part... And it's a line in the film. Hell of a way to end a part. <laughs> Devastated. <laughs> Devastated. One point to Brody. Okay. All right, so your first tagline, it, and it's to be fair, you should probably get this easily had you have seen the film. All right, the page is loading up. The thing is, Dan did a very smart thing before we started, and that was he wrote them all down. I just got the IMDb pages. Okay, so I got it. All right, ready? All right, the tagline is, protect the law by breaking it. That is your tagline. Protect the law by breaking it. See, I'm immediately going, to, like, my immediate thought is Judge Dredd and probably the Stallone one because it sounds like more of a sort of cheesy protect the law by breaking it. I'm, I'm thinking maybe, like, Punisher comes to mind, like the John Travolta one, but then I think that, makes sense. Then I think that was also a really bad sort of cheesy film, so that's got to have sort of Punish in the tagline somewhere. Um, like a kind of to protect the law... They must punish it type of thing. Yeah, just some 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 of that kind of rubbish. Okay. Protect the law by breaking it. Protect, Protect the, law the law by breaking, by it. breaking it. Can you give me the year? I can give you the year. The year was 2011. 2011. Fairly recent. Whoa, that's yeah. blowing my mind. <laughs> Protect the law by breaking it. Yeah. 
Oh that is no! Your first hint. I'm, oh, I'm, and I've definitely seen it. Ah, uh, now that I'm not entirely sure of. I think had if you have seen it, you will not have liked it. <laughs> if that helps. Oh God. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Go on, give me just a little. Just I can give little. you if you want the director. No, don't give me the director. What would you like a hint of? Because I have the IMDb page here. No, no, no. I'm just gonna write 2011. What came out in 2011? Um, what films? Uh, no, Thor came out in 2011. No, I was, it was, not I was Thor. asking myself. I was thinking out loud. I've given you a hint. It is not. Oh. And it's like a big film, like cinematic release. Like. It is. Uh, the hint I will give you is that it is an indie title. Oh my god, I so have no idea. That is the last hint I will give you, and I will have to push you for an answer. All right, what can I see that's going to get me to the answer? <laughs> um, Stephen wants to give you a countdown at some point. That is fine by me. Oh. Uh, I'm going to have to push for an answer. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Nothing. I can't even have a guess. Just a random guess. I can't. I can't 2011. Even. Come on, something, 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 something. Um, Total Recall. You've gone for Total Recall. Well, being <laughs> that I wasn't a comic book adaptation. I know. Quality. The film was The Green Hornet. Starring uh, Seth Rogen. Green uh, Hornet. That, so yeah. that is two points to Dale. Nil point to uh, Daniel. Wow, I'm getting screwed. Yeah. So next film, Mr. Morgan, if you will. I'm feeling good about this game now. Yeah, it wasn't now I feel like with. I'm definitely going to... I feel like my next one's too easy and everything. Okay. Oh, I think this is quite a good tagline. Hey, okay. My one is... From the dark side to our side. I mean, my immediate thought is Star Wars, but being that that yeah, is that's a my immediate thought as well. From the dark side to our side. So it's someone who was a villain who became good. Again... For some reason, my immediate thought is Hellboy. That is who I first jumped to because obviously he's a devil and they turned him good. Um, and I honestly can't think of much else except for that. I can't think of any kind of good guy turned villain. Can I get the year, Mr. Morgan? I think the year was 2004. I love your, I think. <laughs> Or five. Okay. Do you know what? I can't think of anything else. So I'm going to go for Hellboy. Devastated. I'm in a state of utter devastation at the minute. I, I'm getting whooped. Three to nothing. I don't even know if you've got enough. Last one. You, I don't even think you've got enough to pull it back. So, okay. Say again. Uh, we, can, we can roll over into the next episode, but... I will do one more, so it's two all. Uh, I mean, in taglines. Okay, here is your last tagline for this episode. An epic of epic epicness. An epic of epic epicness. Oh, God. Oh, do you know what I think? All right. Oh, he's straight in there. I, I want to... Oh, no. It's good. It's just cheeky. Kind of, I, Scott Pilgrim was my first thought. Like, just sort of cheeky, sort of over the top. Um... Uh, but then, it's not going to be a parody. I can't even think of a superhero film that's a parody. Kick-Ass, sure, maybe. It's a parody. Yeah, yeah, but, but I, w I don't think you'd pick something like that. I'm trying to think now where your brain would have went. Um, an epic of epic epicness. Kick-Ass, Scott Pilgrim, it's going to be that sort of tone. you got to give me the year. He's going to screw with the year again now. The year? Is, yeah. The year is 2010. Yeah, I've got to say, because you, I've got, I think I've got to say Scott Pilgrim. I've got, I'm going to say Scott Pilgrim. Ah, uh, you know me and my love for Edgar Wright too well. Uh, it is of course Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Okay. You were very right. At least so. I got one right. So that is the end of tagline takedown. It I enjoyed that. That was fun. Free one. I really enjoyed that because I won. Yeah. So I can't argue with that. Um, let us know what you thought of this game uh, and how you did as well and how you did uh, down in the comments below or over on Twitter at Comic Book Show 1 indeed and don't forget to check out Gosh Comics over on Twitter at Gosh Comics or on their website goshlondon.com they've got loads of events on over at this store so it's always worth checking out they are fantastic I was going to say a naughty word but I'd be against it alright we'll see you next time
devastated. I'm in a state of utter devastation at the minute.